very quickly, who could just kind of recap for us just the scenario right here? Somebody over here. Tell me. Tell me. Where are we? <laughs> well, um, zombie apocalypse, and we need water, but we can't get out of our gated community where we'll get killed by zombies. So we have to find a way to filter water because the water has zombie parts in it. Okay, so that's where we are. So they've tested various materials. They know which materials work well and which materials didn't work well. They collected some data on that. And uh, yesterday they began their construction of their filters and their pipelines. So here's where we are. So let's look at our criteria and constraints. I put a little copy of that back out on the tables in case you forgot yours or you didn't uh, take it down yesterday your criteria and constraints. We are working as a team. We're building a pipeline and a filtration system that will transport 250 milliliters of water. We actually had some people test theirs in the first class this morning and we had some successes and we had some needs for redesign. So we're gonna go ahead and design a claims, evidence and reasoning chart and if you look up here on the PowerPoint you'll see that basic grid for that and this is just to kind of help guide us in that we're not just fooling around we're actually making a claim that something's going to happen and then we're going to follow up with it so our question is y'all can write this question down very quickly what available materials will make the best filtration system for our scenario? Real fast, write that question down. What available materials will make the best filtration system for our scenario? Does everybody have their sheet in their notebook that has the list of materials? And very quickly, I want you to draw that grid. You can make it like a T-chart if you'd like. And we're going to put a C at the top for claims. Everybody doing that? Chop, chop. Okay. What is your claim, group? Talk about it. What is your claim? You're answering that question. The answer to the question in your mind right now is your claim. So as a group, you're putting your little heads together. And you're talking about what are the best materials for building this filtration system that's going to suit our scenario. You already have this information. You worked on it yesterday. So now you're just talking about, take about 30 seconds to answer that question together and write it down. So what's your claim? Our claim is that sponges are the best. You think our, sponges are the best filtering and material? Our evidence is because they have the most surface area out of any object other than sand, and they have a permeable membrane, so they're pretty much an ideal filter. I'm not riding. Wow, is that what y'all were thinking? What were you thinking? Yeah, totally. Cotton balls. You were thinking cotton balls? I don't think he's wrong. It's actually semi-permeable. Yeah, yeah what he said. What he said. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think that's a great. I think that's a great claim. Are you guys going to support that by actually? Yeah, we're using yes. sponges. Is that what you're using in yeah. your filtration system? Great. Yeah. Okay, so you guys, what what do you what are you thinking? Coffee filter. Oh, the coffee filter. Okay, so tell me about the coffee filter. Why why the coffee filter? Uh, well, I was thinking more of like. A sponge or something, like sponge or sand, because it soaks up more water and stuff. Mm -hmm. and that means it soaks up more dirt. Did you all test those materials? Did y'all yes. test the coffee filter or no. the sand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how did they work? The sand didn't do as good. The sand didn't do as well. For us, no. But the sponge did. Okay. All right. I think that sounds good. All right, guys. Does everyone have their claim written down? Mm -hmm. Okay, so based on that claim, we're gonna go back to the drawing 
board. We're going to go back and collect our material. So your filtration system and your pipeline, the whole system, is down there on that bottom shelf. So send a representative from your crew to go and get your material. And let's keep working. Pop-Tart box. Wow, okay, so, so what's the Pop-Tart box? Don't ask. That was a flaw. We're getting rid of that right now. Okay. So why are you rethinking that? <laughs> there was no point of it. There was no point, like, not even to, to hold it up or anything? Yeah. Hey, why don't y'all go over there as a group with this and just kind of look at your landscape and mull it over? I'm telling you, once you see where it's going to connect, it's going to make more sense to you. Okay. Oh, uh, no, wait, wait. No, it goes in this one. Hold oh, no. up. Here's two cotton rounds. Wait, do we really need that much cotton rounds? Yeah. Okay. To make it even more. Okay, we had to make sure there. I had to make sure there was plenty of Okay, so why did you guys choose the cotton rounds? Because in our last project that we did, it made it really light. Yeah. It made it really light. What do you mean? Like, it filtered out. It filtered most out of the most dirt. of the uh, zombie water. Okay, so these girls are using their evidence. I like it. Using the, uh, they wanted to go with the cotton rounds because it filtered. The best. And it made the water really light. Okay, so where are we putting this? Or are we putting this like this? Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no, yeah, I like put the, the cotton rounds over there. Oh, okay. Okay. Go with the straw. Look at their. The way they're constructed. They come together. So and then we put it in here. Yeah. Okay, so let's tape this. I guess. So before you secure that, why don't you guys take it over to the landscape and just kind of see how it's going to fit. Oh, and then yeah. if it fits right, then yeah, we, take hold on, girls. So after you came back and you looked at it, what are you thinking? We're going to have to add like a stand on the end. Take one of these off. Yeah, because it's too long. Because it's got to go in there. Uh, so it don't matter. But we still need yes, like, to have like a bottle. The bottle is going to be there, but we just need a stand to put it in the bottle because if we were to put like the big bottle there, yeah. it, w it would be too far off the ground. Oh, yeah. And are you thinking about your actual filter we have in the bottle? Okay. Bottle. So what filter, what materials did y'all choose? The coffee filter and the towel. Why did y'all choose that? Well, and did y'all test? test? Yeah, we Thank tested. you, Molly. <laughs> you tested. Ready down there? We going. Are y'all ready? Okay, so tell us what's gonna happen. Somebody explain it to us. It's go go through the tubes and then it's gonna clean the water. Let's go go in there. Okay. Yeah, tell us what's in the box. Yeah, we got the bottle inside. So you have a straw going through a water bottle. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, to support it. And then it comes out. So what's your main filter material down there? Listen. Yeah, what's that stuff in there? Um, coffee filter and filter water. Is that where the... Here comes some. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Is it coming Look. out? And it looks clear. Is it coming out down there? Yes. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's awesome. Yay. Good job. Good job. Right there, oh, right there. Oh, wow. Look at that. Good that's job. Great. We got success. So, if you were going to go back and just kind of make some minor repairs on it, what would you do? Yes. Maybe just take that off. What else? What else would you do? Put like um, table towel on the bottom so it wouldn't come out. Okay. Hey, I'm so proud of y'all. Good job, Good job guys. Wow. Explain what all you have in there. Um, we have the the pot coming down and it's connected with this and we have a sponge and then uh, a cotton round sand and netting and the pot and some clay and duct tape to keep the water from coming out and then a wet one and then the uh, cotton round and the sand and sand to the end. Okay. And we would have used a wet one there but y'all didn't have any more wet ones. Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, I see. Oh, 
he talked about how the time would not be as efficient that the filtration would be. It's not leaking anywhere. I'm not seeing any. It's just gonna take a while to get there. Let's keep there. going. <laughs> Looking for that phase three. It's going in. Is it coming out of the second one yet? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's now in the third chamber. <laughs> Even if it's slower, it would have better quality. Since yeah. the time isn't good and it's not going through as clear as like fast, Here's what it's I leaking think. out of. It's leaking out of the cups you have because in the it's not going you through. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's leaking yeah. out like Taking there. Because you have this, you just have it open. You should have it covering. So something that right there. We can put a lip on the, the on the cup and like kind of like a dam to block it, block the water from coming out. So why did you choose a nylon and a screen? Because when we were doing our testing earlier, it was the one that filtered it the most and gave us back the most water. Okay. Put it over so it's not. Yeah. Are y'all ready? And it filtered pretty fast too. That doesn't always make us good. Yeah. Uh, our saw is a little too high. Uh, much. Yep, and. Is it leaking? Yep, yep it's pouring. It's. It's, it's leaking. pouring pr pretty good, but it's just. It's light as well. It is lighter. Yeah, that's significant. I wish there was one touch here. They use the. Okay, so tell me about how you use the clay as part of your filtration system. Or is it part of the filtration system? No, it's just helping you get it. Yeah, and then we'll go like in it more smoothly. So, what are the filtering materials that you have in here? We have um, paper towels and a coffee the two filter. Paper towels? Um, screen. Okay. All right, girls, are you ready? It's got water down there. I hear water. It's, it's clear. How? Here, let me see this the paper in there. Towel. Here, let me how? How? <laughs> yes, how? It's the paper towel. Oh, it's I knew it was going to work. <laughs> hey, guys, if you haven't seen one, uh, this would be a good one to come and look at. Hi. <laughs> no, I knew yeah, it. She broke the <laughs> Do y'all see any leaks along the pipeline? No. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not the fifth one. Good job, girls. Like, right? We should be like, that's why I should be trash. I don't know. Do you think there's too much sand? No. Okay. No, we're right. 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 All right. We have a filter. Ready? Uh, Anyone interested yeah. in <laughs> observing? I think it's like trash. Stop. Okay. So, Is our pan even? Tell us about your filter. Uh, uh, we figured out that the um, cotton uh, rounds, they work the best, even with just them. So we put sand and paper towels on there for extra help. And we had to use the clay to elevate it. So, yeah. Okay. Are we ready? Yes, sir. I see the water. Not yet. It's Got the steady flow. Yes, yeah, see. Uh oh, here it comes. Do you feel like this was a success? Yeah. No. It's the same. Would you? Uh, would you do something differently? Like, if, would you? If you went back and had an opportunity to redesign? I just take out the center. When we were doing it earlier, like. We were doing just the bottle thing like last week. Mm -hmm. We just used the card and stuff and it worked perfect. And it was yeah, fine. It was like, straight clear. It was I have a picture clear. of it, it's just like you can see right through. Okay. So I think yeah, we took we took okay. out the sand. Uh-huh. Or took a not we may not even have to take all of it. No food in here, we need to put that out. Well, what if you put the sand in a different position? I think it would just go get my position without it. 